What can you tell me about Sonia? What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Okay. Joe Dunn. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time. Never raised his Oh, voice. no, she's definitely some kind of cat. I think she's a white cat. Probably supposed to be like a Persian or something. Found the body. What do you remember? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him hanging there like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. Dang. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. I don't think any of the characters are human. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I think everyone uh. would do. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. And money he issues? Simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. I don't have kids. Uh, first, Can we'll I get a hamburger. hamburger oh, sure. Regular or cheese? We'll do cheese. I think I'll get the cheeseburger. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay! Oh, it's stuck while you're doing that. Why is it? Like cinnamon. No. Cinnamon and burgers. Why is he smelling her neck? They look puffy and tired. Sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Well, let's hope she was crying, because that would mean that she's she's actually got feelings. Wow. It smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Let's go for the radio. Okay, it's jazz. All these observations aren't really helping. Oh, the handwriting. Her handwriting is nice and neat. I suspect there's foul play. I wonder if Mary's in on it. What's weird is the rope that Joe Dunn was hung on was too short for him to actually hang himself. Honestly, this is my actual first time I play in it. Okay. Your burger is ready. He's so proud of himself. He missed all three times. Mm. Like, I'd be proud of myself for missing everything. And this guy's a train conductor. I wonder why he hangs out at Dunn's oh, boxing well, I'll let you place. Enjoy Four people use the back door that very same night. Huh? Well, I might Four. lie about the bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> Yes, you're blind and you have no legs. Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <coughs> first person. Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, then came right back out. Second person. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, Ungrateful bastard. Then he threw something in the trash and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change? Huh? I mean, yes. I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. Third person. Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was, 
threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then, I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. Ooh. Tall, heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash. From Back the guy cackling. You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. Hey. That's all for now. Thanks. So let's talk to this guy again. Do you remember any about the day you found the thingamajig with the things in the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Hey, with fries and a shake, hey, change your mind? How about thinking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> you sound like you don't need a cigarette. Uh, of course. Of course. Here you go. <coughs> Anything to make you talk, mister. Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? Oh, no. I just don't know who you it's are exactly. Ship me off to war. Hey, they he was in the war, too. too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill, too. Well, then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> <laughs> They're stereotyping the a lot in this game. Thing. Army fatigues, rations, weapons, <sighs> lodging, hookers, drugs. Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> From the dead. Your taxes, my dear friend. You oh, help them the cut dead. my legs. <laughs> Good. They declare war. War. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get gets richer and, and richer and richer. And okay. that's how we finance their wars. So, the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel! <laughs> so, do you like your master? Great. Hey, what's your name? You never told me. Never any... told me. Oh, he fell asleep. Where did he die? He's sleeping. <laughs> Champies. Is she a deer? Nothing interesting here. There's one glass that's empty, and then one that's not. I see. That's suspicious. Oh, quiet footsteps. So it's the second person and yells. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Yeah, I guess I still need more clues. A good place that. to spy on Sonia. So that means whoever was up here was spying. Are you not gonna go up the ladder? Come on, you're a detective! Every nook and cranny is your, your job! They don't feel like that's irrelevant. Okay, Jake. I told you! Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? I saw the shamrock in your locker. I know what it means. Okay, let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? We're pals. I won't do a thing. But please, tell me the truth. Okay, I, I guess I should have said something. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, a, 
uh, bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept uh, shady offers. I'd never take a job like that. As a matter of fact, I turned one down today. But that's just me. I'm no one to judge. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I... I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? O'Leary pays you with dirty money, man. and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it. But that's not what bothers him. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the Yeah, day I'm a detective. Died. Go on. I had I to know. take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he could paint in that afternoon, but I forgot. Oh. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. Did this happen, did this happen often? happen often? Not in the last few years. Apparently, Bobby Oscar. wanted to do something. Something that horrified Joe. So, Joe threatened to call off the fight against Stone and kick him out of the gym for good. I didn't want them to Guess see me. So I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. Yeah, you should have. We all Don't make worry. mistakes. We all make mistakes. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Thanks, John. Someone wanted to call off the fight. See if I can figure something out with the so scaffolding. But that's a good thing right there. Looks like Dunn might that to yet. measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18. And there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. So he's known Bobby since he was a kid. Yes, keep looking. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Okay, let's talk to his daughter again. She's hiding something. Nice and steady heartbeat. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Now, Why weren't they up here this? For, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Huh? He's a weasel. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. What the? Hell are you you doing about here? died, you dumb weasel. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> hmm. Don't the subject, you sad little. Why don't we settle this on ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. He's the one through another building. Guess it's about time for me to Everyone. eat dinner and Even study. Even the most hapless of creatures has a gift. Something that makes them special. That makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know oh, I don't he's a like drunk. Milk. You're lost. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. I don't think Dunn killed himself. What? Do you have a suspect? Any leads? No, it's just a hunch. Although, I haven't identified the murderer just yet. It was a woman. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Yeah. Like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Whoa. Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Uh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Oh, there's a motive. Bobby Yale's rival. Hey, he might have a motive, right? Hmm. He might know something about Dunn's death, right? 
I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have had a motive to kill Dunn. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should mm -mm. I give him an order? Or a subtle suggestion? Suggestion. Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. <laughs> You just found the private sad detective you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. <laughs> you have He's to the weasel. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye bye, Cassidy. Oh. You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonia to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. Huh. Try me. Okay. You win. By the way, <laughs> I never told you what happened to Colbert, did I? No. What happened? Mm. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, <laughs> Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yes, it was ugly. Ugly is that weasel's face. I don't know. Black Sag kind of looks like a wall. Very, very angry wall. So, was there really someone on the roof? Yeah, but he was faster than me. I couldn't get my hands on him. A fast spy and a slow detective. This must be my lucky day. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, you remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Cassidy has a reason to, to kill Dunn, because he wanted to call off the fight. So how do we get the information? Well, for right now, I like the your black sad. Oh, okay. Let's see. Dang. Here you can see your behavioral stat. That is the decisions you've made in black sad shoes. Your acts and choices define black sad's character. The lover bar shows how profitable the investigation is turning out for you. Well, at least it's mostly profitable. I don't know, I'm talkative. Swift, astute, lonesome. Oh, wait, I'm 80% romantic? Interesting. Too talkative, according to this. Upright, mostly. Resolute. Oh, wow. And cautious is all half and half. Sensitive. Hmm. I'm totally going to make it. I'm going to do another playthrough and make it all red. Well, I will end here. And I will play this again a little bit later today and stream some more. Thank you for watching my stream and I hope you'll have a good evening.